for more than a decade, Julie Chen woke up very, very early as part of the early show. Last fall, though, she ditched us, <laughs> decided she wanted to sleep in, moved to a more civilized time of day. Joining Sarah Gilbert, Sharon Osborne, Holly Robinson, Pete, and Leah Remedy as co hosts of The Talk right here on CBS. This morning, she is back. I had to break up with you guys. You know, I was here 11 years. You always hurt the course. ones you love, right? You know, I had to do it. Sometimes you just got to walk away and see, right. you know. Makes you realize what you're missing, babe. I know. <laughs> I, when my alarm went off this morning, I was like, oh, I do not miss that sound at that hour. Yes, but we are very happy to have you back with us. Thank you. You've had a lot of fun over the last few months. I have to, we, we have to play this for you, though, because I know you really enjoyed it. Yes. The SNL clip. Let's take a look quickly. Okay. Leah Remini, always keeping it real. Am I right, Sister Chicas? And just so you know, that kind of casual girlfriend language is as uncomfortable for me to use as it is for you to watch. Like she said, I'm Leah Remini from the King of Queens, nine seasons. Hello. It's like. Hello. <laughs> All right, I you have to be able to laugh at yourself, right? You know what? I do that in meetings now, and I oh, I catch myself like when someone walks into to my office at the talk, they're like hello, and I'm like hello, and I'm like oh my god, I am her. When I watched the sketch, I was like, that's not really me, is it? Now I own it. Now I'm you like, own it. Yeah. Have you called Kristen Wake to give her tips for the next time they do it? No, not at all. You know what? She is a genius. Whatever she wants to do, she should just run with it. But I will tell you this. My husband and I ran into Lorne Michaels, you know, the executive producer of Saturday Night Live, yeah. At a party before this sketch aired, and he said to me, just so you know, we're working on a sketch, you know, making fun of the talk. And he's like, we're not quite there yet, but we're, we're, we're working it out. And I said, just do me one favor. Please, 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 whatever you do, do not have a man play me. <laughs> okay? Unless you bring back Tracy Morgan, then I will think it's then funny. Then it's okay. I was like, please, just please, 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 please. And That's then good. he said, Kristen Wiig plays you. And I'm like, your leading lady? Jackpot. Do whatever you want. It's worked out well. It has. So what's the best, you know, the, the talk for folks who haven't seen it, although of course you should watch right here on CBS, uh, two o'clock in most places. What's the best thing about it? It's, it's all about moms really sitting around talking about things. You know, it's not just moms sitting around talking about things, it's girlfriends. Mm -hmm. I mean, you don't have to be like a mom to be able to relate to the show. You just have to, and you don't even have to be a woman to relate to the show. I mean, we talk about anything and everything that people are talking about in life. And it's so funny because I was thinking about, all right, I used to get paid for a living to work on the early show so people at home didn't know how I felt mm -hmm. about any story I was covering. Now I get paid for people at home watching me on the talk so they do know how I feel about anything and everything we're talking about. It's odd. It's a big shift. It are is. you comfortable with it yet, or are you still finding your, finding your place? I'm comfortable with it. In the beginning, I was like, oh, I don't know. How do I do this? And I just said to myself, you know what? Just be you. And if you get hate mail, then you deserve it. You know what, <laughs> you know what they always say? What? If you've got people who like you and people who hate you, you're doing something right. Exactly. See? So, what is, it? is there any topic, though, that for you would be off limits? Because it can be a very, really revealing show. You talk about your family, you talk about your husband, my boss. You talk about your son, Charlie, who's 20 months. Those are really personal topics. I know. I, I have to say something in my head, I guess because I've been doing broadcasting for so long, I know when, when and where I can go into my personal stuff mm -hmm. and not be in trouble with my husband when I get home. Right. You know, he, I, I have a pretty good gauge for that. But I will say that any time my co-hosts are talking about sex, I stay quiet. I, I, then I just know. say, I, I pull the Kristen wig, I say, hello. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. That's it. That's my go-to thing. It's perfect. You're like, what about you, Julie at home? I'm like, hello. That's it. It works. It does work. Or I just say, oh, this one works too. I go, oh, we got to go to break. Uh, we're out of time. I, so now I the next time you're papers. watching the talk, and Julie says, Julie's either doing the anchor shuffle, which you brought over from the early show, uh, saying they have to go to break or saying hello, we'll know what's really going on. Cutting it off. Oh, Cutting off right there. I'm no dummy. My husband's Les Moonves. We want to get this show renewed. That's right. We did get renewed for a second season, and we hope to be on more seasons. So, like, no. I know when that. We look forward mm. to more of the talk. I have to mm you, though, right now, because as you know, Got to go to break because we got to pay some bills. The talk airs weekdays right here on CBS. Check your local listings for times. As Julie said, they'll be back for more next year as well. Don't worry.